What's good, YouTube? Back with another video. Hey, I've been loving the like, you know, the like and support on y'all boys. Y'all, we blowing up. We getting there. We getting there. I was just at 100. Now I'm at 150. Hey, and I already look like I'm gonna be at 200. Hey, love y'all. Hey, let's get into the video. Hey, Tommy G with another banger. The most wanted drivers in New York. Okay, easy, Tiger. Easy. How many police chases do you think you've been in? 30, I think. On a scale of God 1 to 10, damn. how wanted would you say you are? Probably a time nobody's more wanted than me. I wasn't lying when I said these guys are wanted. He's dead ass getting off. Hello, folks. I'm Tommy G. I'm here with the most Tommy wanted. Tommy G's over here York. risking jail? I'm a big dog. I do big dog shit. I fuck your bitch wrong. I heard I don't you like been wanted in the game. Team. You already know what's going on. I love NYPD. Swim team, the dream team. So buckle up, folks. This is going to be a wild NYPD. ride. One day in the safety of my home in Milwaukee, I started to get bombarded by DMs imploring me to explore these two drivers named Squeeze Benz and Where's 981. When I looked at their pages, their driving shocked me. I would describe their videos as daring, dangerous, well, and reckless. Dang. I'm fascinated by the human these guys desire to push IG? limits and go against the grain. I'm fascinated by the daredevils and outlaws of the world. Young men in particular love to do this in a variety of ways. Evil Knievel shot himself out of a cannon. Philip Petit tightrope walked across the Twin Towers, Alex Honnold climbed up cliffs without a rope, and fighter Darren Till cut weight until he went blind. The question that comes to mind Cutting when you look at this behavior going is what compels someone to so push old. themselves to such lengths and risk injury or death. In today's video, we investigate this daredevil behavior in the form of reckless drivers who are causing outrage and fascination across New York. Police tried to pull over a car I'm on West 38th Street and 7th Avenue. The driver is an unprofessional off, might be. into cars, driving on the sidewalk, and oh, even hitting a Damn, gun. these are these there's a twist in the story because these guys don't just risk their own necks in the stunts they also risk the lives of innocent pedestrians Damn! and the law enforcement that chases them these guys regularly go on them. police chases and evade police helicopters Today, we interview them face to face and talk morality, ethics, accident. danger, and their motivation for their behavior. Let's dive in and go boots on the ground. This documentary is purely for educational purposes. We want to stress up. that the behaviors like depicted in doing. this video is dangerous, illegal, and should never be imitated. And remember, it only takes one bad crash to ruin your life or someone else's. Please drive responsibly. Thank you. Drive responsibly, guys. I've crashed twice. Don't be like me. Microphone in my section. And we it wanted wasn't to know my how everyday people felt about this kind of driving. We had some extra time to kill at the New York airport, so I went around showing people videos of Squeeze Benz and Where's 981 driving. Here's what they had to say about it. What do you think of that? It's just dangerous. <laughs> I think if the police go off, then it's a bit dangerous. Was everyone else at risk? He's probably going 120, 130 right now. See how there's some close calls? I feel like he thinks he's in a video game. We'll have stuff that pisses me off. So I got kids that are on those kids. Mm -hmm. You got kids. I don't know what happened. I could tell this guy a million times, hey, you're going to kill somebody on the road. He's going to do it anyway. What do you think about that? It makes me mad. I get it. All kids, they're bred to do that, right? But it's still it's irresponsible. If I told you that this guy has gotten away from not only multiple police, but also helicopters. Getting away from a helicopter in NYPD? Nigga, how do you even do that? What's your reaction on that? I believe it. I just feel like it's really selfish. I feel like he should get his license taken away for some period of time and probably have to go through safe driving classes, maybe talk to people who are victims of people I that drive I think it should be commensurate right, with you know like saying? attempted oh, manslaughter nah, or something serious. like I mean, yeah. that's in effect. Yeah. You're putting people at risk yeah. intentionally when you go a certain speed over the speed limit. If you were his mother or father, what would you tell him? That he's a selfish idiot. One of these days, somebody is going to get in his way and that person's going to end up dead or many people are going to end up dead. And if he ends up dead, that's his consequence for what he That's does. Gonna be even but worse. Nobody else or it's all going to be bad, actually. To have that kind of risk. It's no different it's than someone who's really yeah. drunk getting behind the wheel of a car and driving when they have no control. I mean, your car is actually like a weapon of mass destruction to oh, have to shit. be handled with care worse than being drunk and getting behind the wheel because you're actively making the choice to put other people's lives at risk. The it's steepest price that gets worse. is not the person driving Drunk the driver car. Is really Someone's going like... to end up dying and that'll be that. That can ruin hundreds of people's lives. Like if a kid in a school were to die, everybody in the school it's would a be warning yeah. for that one person. Oh yeah, he's That's real. 
not Old safe boy at just all. Died. If he hit somebody, yeah, he hit the whole city. Or hey, first I, mean, I say manslaughter because you know what you're doing. Like you're just driving crazy. Like what would you tell him if you could say something to him? Uh, I'd be like, slow like, down. Like, what do you think about driving like this? I'd be like, slow down. You know, you don't put the pedal to the middle a couple times. What should be the penalty if he's caught? Manslaughter or first degree? That's another debate. If he hits somebody, you mean if he kills somebody? It's vehicular manslaughter. This guy has an ability to get away from multiple police vehicles and including helicopters. Right. So he hasn't been caught. Yesterday, he got away from a helicopter. Where? In New York or California? New York. Wow. What kind of car is he renting? Lamborghini. I can see I was out running the cops. I guess we could hope for him hitting a telephone pole. There Turn you yourself in, brother. You're a reckless driver and you're going to hurt innocent people. I got folks taking pics, something like pop like rocks. Shit. I'm going to get the test. I don't Just, really like my No, like you carry that weight. We, we're we're on our way to meet squeeze you know, you Recently, he's been making the news you for his high-speed stunts. Lay While some bay, people bay. see his driving as exhilarating or exciting, there's a rising sentiment that this sort of behavior unnecessarily endangers innocent drivers and pedestrians. He sent us the address of a random parking garage and told us to pull up. This is what we encountered. Folks, we're on the way to talk to one of the most wanted drivers in New York. Yeah, I'm finding the most wanted drivers in New York before the police is crazy. This makes pucker up. Uh, this guy is reckless. This guy is extreme. This guy drives at a very high speed. I do not drive like this. You shouldn't drive like this. And there's a reason why I'm not getting into their cars while they're driving this fast. It's dangerous. Yeah, we just seen you on one. Scary. Disclaimer: Don't do this at home. He's kind of like a high-speed fugitive. I'm always interested in the outlaws of the world, people that live on the edge. Humans, especially men, are always pushing the limits of danger. But one distinction I want to make is evil Knievel only harms himself if he fails. The UFC fighters are both signing up. They're in mutual combat but these guys if something goes wrong they harm innocent civilians so i want to ask him about that but then ask him about the outlaw, gotta be that danger the in danger peace that lives strongly within them because i think that's interesting this is not a product placement i do not want a partnership with celsius i do not drink your drinks every single trip multiple times a day i don't absolutely love your drink guys if you want to hit me up please do i would love to this dude it. i didn't even otherwise i'll probably hit up prime and you know how that goes so we're pulling up to meet squeeze benz i'm excited and i hope you are too you know, high speed must be an issue around here if they have a Mustang NYPD car that's got some zip yeah, to it. All right, part of that shit too. It's been a great run. Kudos to you for lasting as long as you have. But that's it. I mean, that's you're finished. It's sorry. In honor of that, RIP mainstream media. Sweatshirts available. Tommy G. They don't cover anything that's important. Like, they do all the bullshit that like just doesn't affect anything. This is Batman, dude. Not to say that this affects anything, but like shit, you at least get to know more about the world we live in, not the world that they truly speak of. On a scale of 1 to 10, how wanted would you say you are? Probably a 10. Nobody's more wanted than me. Really? Yeah. That's insane. It started like about a year ago. I got my first Benz and I always did like little driving videos and I never really took it to nothing. And then my boy started saying like, you know, mad people are blowing up off this. And I was just like, you know, that's just how it started. I'm curious, like you have a Lamborghini, at one point a Mercedes Benz. I'm sure you go through a lot of different cars. Are you going on tour and just driving people? cars are crazy. crazy. You guys are getting your own cars? Like, tell me about that. I had my own car for a bit, but then I changed it up because I did get chased a lot. So I just realized, like, you know, doing long-term rentals is just a way better route. And then, obviously, I don't tell these guys I'm screen Did you ever get blown so up by the So couldn't you just go, asking what the hell unless happened? they're going you secret ask, fucking rental like, shit. I kind of just, like, you know, like I'm driving names. the car, you know what I mean? You mix danger, but there's also other people at risk when you do that. Innocent civilians. So what do you think about the element of danger for that? I've been doing this since, like, real shit, since I was nine. I used to take my dad's car out, and I I used to just walk out. I've been doing this for so long now that I feel like I did as a professional. I, like, you know, niggas know, like, that's how I drive. There's been incidents where I've gone out with people and they try keeping up with me and they crash. How fast do you go? I mean, there's been a video on Bob where I've gone one hand to 210 miles an hour. Filming oh, with one shit. hand, driving with the other 210 miles an hour. Yes. That's insane. Did that that's scare actually you? wild. Not really. It's just a build up of tolerance and just speed. Do you feel like the police watch your Instagram? 100%. They do. Let's pop in the car and keep the conversation going. I thought he wants to get in the car. I thought you weren't getting in the car, buddy. Okay, 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 okay. Now you're How ass many scared. Don't really f out compared to like, am I in the high end of the high end. <laughs> That's okay. Does your mom worry about you? Lord, I call her. She don't even want to hear the things that I'm doing. She be getting scared because she know I be doing shit. Like, you know what I mean? Do you know any friends that have gotten really hurt or died doing this? Uh, my boy, he was racing and he macked up and he hit his head and his head like split open oh, a little bit. He was shit. Sick, but, like, other than that, nothing's ever happened. Tell me about the camera system in New York. How hard is it to evade, well, that's cushion, capture, man. or awareness of the police? 
super easy. A lot of people like, like they be doing crimes with their plates on. Look like, at I me, mean, if I go and run from a cop, I'm gonna make sure I either have uh, altered plates or no plates at all. New York City is home to one of the most advanced camera surveillance networks on the planet. An Amnesty International project identified that there are more than 25,000 public and private cameras at That's traffic insane. intersections across the city. This camera technology can capture faces and other details from up to 400 feet away. This infrastructure isn't cheap either. This camera technology combined with cell phone tracking tools, it's spyware, like and facial recognition that the racked up nearly three billion dollars in expenditures from the NYPD from 2007 to God 2019. Damn. When street racers run rampant in the city, it's easy for governments to make the argument to increase the surveillance in order to shut down this reckless and deadly behavior. Sad. However, this same technology can also be used to capture the profiles of millions of civilians on a daily basis. Literally, something that is bro, currently that happening shit's in China and that trash. many Americans are afraid of. As technology such as AI facial recognition and high def cameras increase in quality, this is a challenge we are going to have to wrestle with to ensure the very tech that can help keep us safe also doesn't grow too powerful to infringe upon our freedoms. Where you gotta have a balance. So if you got caught doing what were you doing? Jail time. I'm running red lights. I'm doing more than triple the speed limit, double the speed limit. This is a lot of tickets to it. You did a video in Times Square recently, right? Yeah. I gotta send it back for all my insecurities. Oh, oh shit. shit. God damn. <laughs> it only takes one mistake. Holy God, this nigga's turning up. Destroy somebody's life. I do understand that. It just like, we were also like, it was a lot of people. 12 o'clock in the morning, you seen in the video, like I stopped, looked around, made sure there was nobody, and started doing jail. And then when I was running the red lights, I'm not gonna lie, I was low-key bugging. I low-key know how to run red lights. I've been chased by Mac to the point where I could blow the red lights doing 60, 70. No, I'm not gonna do that. What is your strategy in getting away from you? Hopping on the highway. These cops, like, they're not really built for that. It's a lot of real rookie cops now. It's a bunch of rookie cops, and these guys do not know how to drive on the highway. Let's talk it's about how driving them them can shit. evade detection for so long. They do so by altering or covering up their license plates so the car cannot be tracked by police or the traffic cameras. Cars with this modification have been nicknamed ghost cars. Last month, a joint task force was launched between New York Governor's Kathy Hochul, oh, New York shit. Mayor Eric Adams, the NYPD, and the MTA to crack down on they the issue don't. of ghost cars. In their first day alone, they impacted impounded 73 cars, issued 282 court summons, and made eight arrests. And I noticed the same thing back home Damn. in Milwaukee. The guys running through the red lights, driving the stolen cars, and driving aggressively, most of them do not have license plates. What's the longest police chase you've been in? So it's like, do you have That's to keep cycling chase. your plates? Because like, they'll just write your shit down if they see it and you're fucked. I was in the Porsche, and that shit does 210 miles an hour. So I just hopped in the highway, you know what I mean? The helicopter can only go so fast. You go fast in the helicopter? Yeah, they only like top out like 150, 140. You crash into somebody, they get paralyzed, shit, this they die, and you think you deserve to go to prison. Yes. Obviously, I wouldn't want to be put into prison for life. If I kill somebody, that's somebody's life. If that's somebody's mother, brother, cousin, whatever the case is. He knows is. what if comes with that shit. my mom and her car, and they killed her, I'd want them to go to jail. You know what I mean? Maybe not for life, but just enough to get it in their head, like, you know? What makes taking these risks? They're not really risk to me, that's the thing. I don't really see them as risk. I see them as like, you know, me just everyday driving. You said you've been driving since you were nine years old? My dad used to give me his car. You know, I used to sit on his lap when I was like seven. He used to give me the steering wheel that. And then, you know, I hit nine. Oh, shit. Let me go over to AutoZone real quick. I used to go to AutoZone, Home Depot, whatever the f pieces. I 13, I used to start picking up my boys. And that's when I started really like, you know, cutting up. This oh my motherfuck. Okay, easy, Tiger. Easy, 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 easy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, he's gotta cut up. No more, no more. Ooh, that motherfucking made me. Imagine me doing that. At 100? Yeah, well, that's, that's really nothing. How many police chases do you think you've been? More than my hand. So no way he gets out of police chase. Like, the in the car. So well, like, it's not really chases to us. It's really back home. Do you think you're the most wanted driver in New York? Between me and where's 981, like, where's 981 will keep guy down. I feel like I've taken over that spot, so yeah. I'm sure there are a lot of young men that watch your content. What do you think about a kid that want to go try and replicate this, copy this? From Sweeney's Benz himself, do not come try this. This is something that you can get paralyzed. This is insane. Down. I don't drive like this. You shouldn't. Some people in this game take lots of risks, and Squeeze is one of those guys, but highly advise never to do this. How sophisticated is the camera system in New York? It's getting more sophisticated now to where, like, you know, it'll take them probably two, three days to really find where you was at, you know what I mean? How do you stash your vehicle so that the police don't trace you to your house? I pay for a garage. I have one parking garage where I park my car. So just like a drug dealer has trap houses, you have different... I have trap houses. 
We're going. Are you nervous at all? That's why I'm nervous. <laughs> the boys are right here. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, you know, he was about to get out of his vehicle. You were just about to smack him as he opened up the door. Why do you think this is something that young men grab? Whoa. This nigga Tommy Let's talk about really brain development in young men. The male brain does not fully mature until about 25, so their this prefrontal cortex that, that assesses risk is not fully developed yet, which helps to explain the risky behavior we see in this segment of the population. There's a name for this, young male syndrome. This sometimes short-sighted behavior is hypothesized to have provided an evolutionary advantage. A 2001 University of Liverpool study found that females prefer brave males who take risks to the ones that do not. And if we go back thousands of years to being hunter-gatherers on the savanna, this yep. preference makes sense as a female would want the male that fends off the lion or stands to fight when another rival tribe approaches. Biologically, not much has changed in our brains then, but our technology has progressed much further, and it helps to explain why you see young men doing high-speed chases and drifting through Times Square. What's the craziest story you have? So I'll be the one with the helicopter. I pulled up on the highway patrol in the truck, he was about to pull someone over. So I got behind him, I started playing with him, and I was recording, I got away obviously. A week later, I started getting chased by two, three black chargers. I'm looking up, and I see the helicopter above me, and I'm like, oh no. Nah. It was only like my second other ever helicopter chase, so my heart was bumping. I'm not knowing how hard these guys are gonna go for me right now. They're gonna set a roadblock up, something, you know what I mean? But thank god that wasn't the case. Like a spike strip. That's never happened to me. I don't need to give these niggas advice, but like, I don't know why they don't use spike strips. Is it hard for you not to be going fast right now? Well, great Honestly, advice, yeah. buddy. <laughs> but it's hard. You're in New York, like, you're not gonna get a spike strip out. How often do you drive reckless? It's every day but to a limit. Let's talk about reckless driving in the United every States. Day but to in 2021, there were 6 million car crashes and 39,500 of them were fatal. A survey by the insurance company Nationwide found that 47% of Gen Z reported driving faster than the speed limit and 34% of them reported video chatting while driving. Actions like this help contribute to car crashes. We gotta understand like, like we're the younger generation like the other Another younger generations fact, when they the were younger they also had the highest. Driving. In 2022, there were like, 7,500 deaths in this manner. In New York, vehicular manslaughter is a felony that carries a steep sentence of up to 15 years. We took two Polaroids, they're fresh off the press, still developing. We're gonna put them in two random people that buy merch in the next 48 hours. Two people will get Squeeze Benz, Tommy G, Polaroid photos, RIP Mainstream Media, Big Dog got it. Hope media, to send this to you. Available on Patreon shit. only are the wild and extended cut versions Wait. of the interviews with Squeeze Benz, including one right after he got finished with- If you're in here, say hi. The helicopter chase, extended cut interview with swim You're team, still here, and this is some you good shit. Say hi in the chat, say hi in the comments. This thing did double multiple days. We find ourselves in another parking garage meeting with New York driver Where's 981 and his crew, the swim team. Swimming swim refers to the driving technique where they cut up, weaving in and out of traffic to get where they want to go. They've gained a lot of notoriety online, and I wanted to talk to them to learn more about them. The faster you go and the more dangerous you drive, the more views you get. Oh, shit. All right, guys, you're pulling up to meet the swim team. You're one of the groups of the drivers. Why do you guys call yourself swim team? This is how it started. Like, they called me float. It used to be called float apostles. So, like, I guess it's like a, well, like a teacher. Swim. A teacher. The circle started a little And bit. then it just turned into, like, you know, we started crying up and stuff. It was almost like we were swimming through track, and they'll call me, like, Michael Phelps. So, they're swimming. How fast do you go sometimes? I'm hitting 150 every day. It's easy to hit 150, bro. Like, it's triple digits no matter what. Your 50, 60 miles an hour is my 100. Have you had any near misses? Wow. Yeah, of course. People come to me like, oh, how do I do this? How do I do that? I'm not going to try and teach you how to do it because of the simple fact that someone can get hurt. Thank you that I have not hurt anybody. It's like shooting a gun in an open field. Like, anybody can get hit with a straight bullet. If you hit somebody and they get really injured or die, what should be the punishment you think? I'm I'm going to jail a thousand percent. Yeah, it's worth it. Why? It's not worth it. That's the thing. I can't justify it, you know? What's it like being in a high-speed chase? Well, the he first knows. Time, he knows it feels that. crazy, bro. Like, you're like, like, you're scared to go home. Some way, somehow, you make it home. You, you have a little bit of tough, a tough night of sleep that first night. And then you make it to the second night, you make it to the next night, they never come. After That's that, real, bro. You get numb to it, you know? What are the laws in New York for chasing people? Because I know in Milwaukee, oftentimes they don't chase you at a certain speed because they know it results in civilian deaths a lot of times when the chase happens. I, it depends on the cop, honestly. I've seen cops where one of my boys, this dude 
He's going off road, off road in New York, and the fucking cop following him off the road. They just take that one, you know, that one cop. cop that's you just ready to be like, ah, I'm coming for you, and it's over. What does your mom think about this? I bring my mom to work. She's going 150. She didn't. She didn't get scared. In her eyes, she knows I'm a good driver. Like she got mother's prayers, of course. She's gonna always pray for me, make sure everything works out every single time. But she being my mom in the whip, though, I mean, you gotta be like next level professional, and even want to put your mom at risk. So I'm here with. And I'm Tommy G, allegedly. Allegedly. Who out of this group is the high speed specialist? This nigga right here is a nasty old attack. This nigga right here is a nasty old attack. Slide, drift, go fast. What's the fastest you guys have ever gone in a car before? 170? That's life or death speed. What makes it worth it for you to put yourself in that position where you could go to the afterlife if you're not careful? It's got to be the adrenaline rush, bro. Nothing else would ever make a human do this. I never like hopped in a car and went that fast off rip. It's kind of like you know, I got used to it slowly, you know, building up like a tolerance to the speed. Or if you're watching this and you're a driver, then you know what I mean when you feel the rear wheels through the, through the seat of the car. That you're is, super in tune and in yeah. touch. It's almost like the car is an extension of your body. Uh, yeah. You have senses from the seat, the steering wheel, the audio cue. That's real, bro. I miss my baby, bro. I miss my car. Like, you. You literally, and your car, like, my car used to vibrate, so it was like, that was my car's, like, alive, and I used to, like, be connected to it. It was crazy. I don't know. I'm alive. Like, we genuinely want to hop on the you just go crazy. It's just to track it right now. It's just it's expensive and people are shutting the trucks down. Do you guys know anyone that has crashed or died or gotten injured doing this? That's for sure, but nobody that's really about you know, no one ever dies today. If anybody were to seriously get hurt or crash or anything like that, I think it'll, it'll end it for everybody. I think we don't stop. There's a risk of hurting someone that's completely yeah. innocent. Someone could be on their way to work. Someone could be going to pick up their kid from soccer practice. Like, how does that factor in your driving and what you think about when you drive? I don't know. I don't know. If I get left, I get stuck. I get stuck for mm -hmm. me. What does that mean when you get left? If I'm following 91 or I'm following float and they think it's cut, I can't take, I'm not taking it. I'm doing we swim. We swim for each other. We drive for each other. We don't drive for ourselves. I mean, I know exactly how each one of them drives and how I drive. So God forbid someone has to hard break, the cars behind are already breaking and looking for openings so we don't, we're not rear ending each other. Have you guys had any near misses? Of course. Yeah. But there was this one time where he took a cut right after he took the cut. It was either I took the cut or I'm going. It's funny saying this, but we're not criminals. We have real life jobs. We have insurance. Yeah. Having a real life we job with insurance and all that is insane. Funny. Like, you know, yeah. you know, that should be pissing me off, bro, because I've done work hard as for this shit, bro. You guys' mom knows. That's insane. She knows These guys are she just normal ass, ass niggas. I tell her, look, I'm trying. We have a brand slim team, right? We're not trying to cut a reckless 24 7, bro. Like, we got a, a 5 m service coming up, a set of forces service coming up. And honestly, like, we see the community, we see the love you, you guys are giving us, and we're not gonna take this and just, you know, throw it all away. It's like one of those stories we're trying to create where the bad guy got away. So, what do you say to the people that are, like, super pissed? As long as you don't kill nobody, I'm fine with anything, selfish, bro. Selfish, it's dangerous, people could die. What, what do you say to those type of folks? Honestly, bro, you're great. I agree with them, bro. I don't even argue with them, bro. That's real, you got to. Is drinking and driving. <laughs> and, and, and like, we don't ever be under the influence ever behind the wheel. And I'm proud to say that. But Tell me what's going through your head in the police chase. How do you get away? I gotta go watch the videos after this, bro. Go a few streets and take an exit. You gotta hide out. Like, how do you evade police in this type of situation? Hold on, don't give out too much on <laughs> There's people that might watch what you do and wonder how the police have not caught you yet. Uh, what is your answer? Right. I mean, truly, the way that we don't get caught is to stop being dickhead. New York has a no, no chase policy. I can say this because I've been like, at least in Swim, at least. I got into the most cop chase today. I'm not saying it because I like that. 
I wanted to know what the legal perspective was on what Swim Team, Squeeze Benz, and all these other New York drivers were doing. What were the legal ramifications? How much jail time could they face? And why is it that they were so brazen about continually doing this? I they talked to my guy, Nate, the lawyer, to figure out more about this. He's a lawyer that runs a YouTube channel and breaks things down regularly. This is what he had to say. My name is Nate Deloria. I'm a former prosecutor and a former law school professor. Okay, okay. And what you've just seen on screen is known as reckless driving. In the state of New York, you could serve up to a year in prison if you recklessly drive. Reckless driving in New York is simple. It's if you drive in a manner that, quote, unreasonably interferes with the free and proper use of the public highways or unreasonably endangers users of the public highway. Reckless driving is yep. prohibited. Every person violating this provision shall be guilty of a misdemeanor, meaning you can serve up to a year in jail. If someone is injured or killed during the act of reckless driving, you could find yourself facing some serious charges. Dangerous and disturbing exclusive video of young people driving their cars recklessly just before one of the cars crashed and killed two people. Now this driver okay, was charged was with manslaughter and criminally nobody. negligent homicide. He's facing up to 10 years in prison. If you are doing something that you know is inherently dangerous and could get someone killed or hurt and then you do it anyway, that the law finds to be reckless and criminal in some cases. Driving a car 90 miles an hour in a 50 mile an hour zone is reckless. I just someone drive, could get hurt. Someone say, could get I drive, killed. You if someone say, does, safe. then I you are safe. on the hook for that homicide. There may be no fear of repercussions because of New York's bail reform law. The misdemeanor of reckless driving, as you see on the screen, isn't eligible for bail. If someone commits this crime oh, 10 times in the same day, they'll get bail every time because of New York's bail reform laws. That's now, crazy. some of you may not believe how insane New York's bail reform laws are, but they are insane. Like this guy who was arrested 101 times for shoplifting and let go every time because of New York's bail reform laws. Or this guy who was arrested for three insane. assaults in one day, even through a brick through a store window. He was released he every single on time on bail reform. Or How? the story of these four bail. people who chopped up two bodies, left body parts all around the state of New York, and then when the cops went to their home, they found blood, body parts, guts, everything in their home. Guess what the judge did? He released them without bail. When you put everything together, I think these guys are doing it because they don't really have any fear that they're gonna kill anybody. I think they're dumb they get as fuck. Reckless driving, they'll get arrested and charged, but they'll probably be let out the same day I think on bail reform. Fuck. Then we can go out and do it again. If you need legal advice, if you're looking to this YouTube video to help you in your case, you're looking at the wrong place. With that being said, I'm Nate the Lawyer and I'm out. Peace. After hearing what Nate Deloria said, lawyer. hearing that there's no consequences really for what these guys are doing, it makes sense why they're doing it. Back to the swim team. How often do you guys get nervous doing this? So when I started racing, I super nervous, especially when I used to run. And the reason I started running is not because I, like, uh. I don't like cops. It's simply because like, it got to a point where I couldn't afford the tickets anymore. Because I was getting singled out for no reason. The speed limit is 50, right? So I would be on the Bell Parkway and I'm going 70, 75. I'm doing the same speed everyone else can do that. Mm -hmm. However, when the state trooper sees everyone else and me, they single me out because I'm in a white port. So then they think so I can afford the ticket. But in the beginning I could, but then that shit started stacking up. And if you're going to say, oh, then just don't speed, I wasn't speeding. I was just keeping up with the flow of traffic, right? And then I just started running one day because I just. They, they cause them. Cause a problem, be the solution. You gotta tell more of these two. How many people were after you? 15 cars? That's insane. Do you guys have to get away from helicopters before? I never had to. Thanks God. Honestly, I feel like I don't have to do that. Has the news reached out to any of you guys? That's insane. Oh, of course. Bro, I ain't gonna front. This is crazy. I don't like AV7. I don't like AV7 news at all. Because they reached out to me about my content and they still post it after I said no. I don't like that. I'm like, yeah, this man who's already talking about this is anyway. So news reporters have reached out to you guys. They DM you, they, touch they email you. They can't trace back their shit. Okay, like... so Ali Bauman from CBS New York. Yeah, she gave me twice. I was like, no. That's wild. I just never responded. What made you say no to her and yes to me? Honestly, bro, you're not a cop. Yeah, you're not a cop. You're not associated with the law. You don't have an ulterior motive. 
That's W. Like, you're not going to try to paint that picture with and you've seen in your videos, you've seen the work you do, and the type of, honestly, you interview people that do worse stuff than us. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, come on now, if you were keeping them safe, there's no reason why you wouldn't be trusted. To me, it feels really fun to have no journalistic background yeah. to be beating them at their own game. Nah, yeah, definitely. No, no. Honestly, bro, when you're authentic person, you go far away. That's I so feel like real, bro. Our generation just don't trust the news. They've lied so many times that their credit's gone with us. No, yeah, definitely. Honestly, bro, I've been getting more accurate shit from TikTok. Pull over, take the track. That says whip. something too. Range Rover Sport, I'm on the jacket. And they want to get rid of TikTok. Keep swimming, got the paddles in the ship. Let's meet the swim team and let's hear their specialties. Float, swim team, you already know. And what's your specialty? My specialty is uh, floating. All I do is float. That's my name, that's what I do. It's everything. Do you feel like you have to look over your shoulder doing this kind of stuff? I always look over my shoulder. I'm always not anyone. I, I would say I'm kind of camera shy, but like my specialty is like I do a little bit of everything. But when it comes to like the uh, you know the it's corporate crazy. side of things, you know the brand and stuff, like I'm basically like the brain behind the, that whole. Wait, so you're trying to turn this into a video game? I mean, we already kind of did. It's a game, so it's called a set of Porsche. So basically, uh, we host servers, and you just gotta take the link, hop on the server, and if any one of us happens to play on the server, you get to drive with swim risk free. Whereas 981 and his team are well aware that a lot of his fans are young males that might try and replicate what they do, and knowing that that is incredibly dangerous, his team has done something so you can join them Wait, in the safety of your home. They built this online Assetto Corsa server so you can drive, swerve, drift, whatever oh, you want. Shit. All you need is a computer, internet connection, and it's recommended you have a steering wheel. Details to join the server are in my description. Do you think you're wanted by law enforcement? They definitely know about us. I mean, me specifically, I have no clue. If I am wanted, I'm sorry. I don't hate NYPD, I just don't want the ticket. <laughs> Where do you go by? Brick 250 or Brick 50, either one is fine. And what's your specialty? Well, right now, I think the fans are probably saying my specialty. These guys are great guys. They really stay like great guys. Like in my opinion, I think Brick is on. How many police chases do you think you've been in? Honestly, bro. I lost count, probably, because I posted at least 30, I think, so I think God, I had You have at least 30 police chases on the internet right now. Yeah. Why That's is insane. this worth potentially going to prison? No matter how you look at it, it's not worth it at all. Me being how I am as a person, bro, it's fun, bro. Who are you? So I'm Reaper. What's your specialty? Damn, his yeah, big body yeah, ass got a fucking spin, bro. No, he he get caught, there's, there's no running. You know, if you know, you know. Do you have any little brothers? Oh, yeah. If they wanted to get into this, what would you tell them? I'm a hypocrite, bro. What do I recommend this for? You don't recommend that. Um, this is a question for the whole group. How often do you guys have to change vehicles? I say okay. if you do it right, you could probably go a year to two years where you have to swap the car if you're smart. But you could do some dumb shit in one night that makes you have to swap. What do you go by? My name's Billy. And what's your specialty? Honestly, the fans kind of know me as Lester, I guess I would say. That's, um, if you get in trouble, you can call me. I'll, I'll help you with your situation. So what makes this worth doing? It's not worth doing. Lester is I wouldn't recommend crazy. doing it if I were you, but I can't make your decision for you. So if you are going to do this against our best wishes, I guess, just think about other people on the road and do whatever you can to bring it home without hurting yourself, hurting anybody else, or damaging any property. Tell me how you think about taking on risks and danger. I think if you're ever going to take on any risks or any danger, whether it's physical risks or financial risks, I think you should write down every single one of the variables that could be a factor in the risk that you're taking, and you should figure out what's the worst case scenario that could go wrong, worst case any other kind of scenarios that could go wrong, and you want to figure out what the best case scenario is, and if that's worth the gamble for you, for the risks that are laid out on the table, but if those those risks are worth the reward that you're going for, I think you should go for it. And if at any time you get too scared, the risks are too much for the reward, you don't want to risk it for the biscuit, then stop. Because it's you're not going it, no If biscuit, you want no an extraordinary it. life, you have to take extraordinary measures and risks and action, but know your lane and know when to sit out. And no one did that fucking crap. Also the story of Icarus, when you have wax wings and you fly too close to the sun, never feel like you got it on lock 24-7. The story of Icarus comes from Greek mythology, and it recounts the tale That's of Daedalus right. and his son Icarus, who were imprisoned on the island of Crete by King Minos. To his Escape, Daedalus fashioned wings made of feathers and wax for him and Icarus. Warned by his father not to fly too close to the sun, Icarus disregarded this advice. As he soared higher and higher, the wax melted, causing his wings to fail, and he plummeted into the sea and drowned. This story serves as a cautionary tale warning against the dangers of overconfidence and recklessness. And this story, I think, is very relevant to Mr. Squeeze Benz. My son Stolen couldn't make it, but he wanted to say what's up to y'all, feel me? Anything you gotta say for the camera, brother? Shout out my son Jolly too, he couldn't make it. 
Yeah, so you ask us these questions. What do you think of swimming? So here's the thing. I think danger is good in somebody's life, but when you endanger someone else while you're having your own fun, that's where I'm iffy about it. Yeah. I, I admire the courage, I admire the bravery, but when other people's lives are at risk, to me it's like it's a hard battle, you know what I mean? Like, uh, if I lost a friend because someone was just having fun on the road, I'd want to kill that guy. Uh, I also, as a young man who does dangerous things, too, get it. But I highly advise you, don't try it out. <laughs> no, man. I highly advise all y'all don't try to him either. This shit is swag, though. They got that damn shit. We met these guys who do B-roll of their cool cars. But while waiting their turn, a couple of them decided to do donuts in a parking lot where there were many oh, families. Shit. Because of this, the police were called, and in a few minutes, an NYPD helicopter arrived on the scene. This is what happened next. Oh, shit. It's like you've seen that, right? Yeah. Well, I got the damn heli quick. Oh, oh, that's how they got parking. Hello, folks. I'm Tommy G. Here with the most wanted drivers in New York. Look, they're peeling out. There. I wasn't lying when I said these guys are wanted. Oh, oh my god, they're deep as fuck. Stay safe. Realize that the choices you make can impact other people. There's dangerous things you can do that just impact yourself. When it impacts That's so swag, scared though. civilians, we should probably get out of here. Let's go. I'm conflicted with this video, folks, That's because they swag. a lot of young people are going to think this is cool. And they're too, oh, they're brave damn it, I'm young, nigga, enough fuck. to realize the risk to other people. I understand and I feel like you gotta pick and choose your battles. And uh, like while it is exciting, statistically, eventually, someone is gonna crash, someone's gonna die, someone's gonna get paralyzed, and the game that sounded so fun is not so fun anymore. Real. Hey, all right, YouTube. Tell me if that was a fire video as per usual. 35 minutes, we done tanked through it. Hey. YouTube, I'm gonna catch you. Like and subscribe if you stick all the way through. And comment GOAT. No, no, comment, um, comment, comment if you got this far. Peace, YouTube. Love you.